Dear Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and I'm thanking you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading, April 28th to May 4th of 2019. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There's a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Taurus. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. What a great card to have, Taurus. The Ten of Cups. Water energy. This is shared love and a happy family life. It's homecoming. Represents your home and lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. This is perfect human love. It's true love and it's better than you expected. And you're going to be embarking on something that makes life worth living. A happy home and shared love and blessings. It's peace and family and a grateful, joyous family. And you have enough happiness to share with those around you. These are emotional connections and home life that are blessed. So take time to be grateful for all the love and happiness you have in your life and focus on what you do have, not on what you have not yet received. The rainbow is symbolic of the connectedness with God, with creation, and of the fulfillment of great wishes. This is the fulfillment of lifelong dreams. It's high days and holidays. Could even be a wedding. It's a rainbow of promise and the ultimate in happiness. This is a lot of love available both to give and receive. And if you had a string of bad luck or anxiety about something, it's over and with good results. This is being serene and blissful and emotionally fulfilled. You're going to be feeling liberated and loving unconditionally, appreciating abundance and living your dreams and enjoying family. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Could be a challenge. The Three of Pentacles Taurus, this is Earth Energy. This represents synergy and employment. This is a lucky card. This represents support from teamwork and nice critics around you teaching you how to do it better. So listen to them and don't take anything personally. These are people coming together to make something happen. It's a foundation being set and the early stages of progress. And now a project is beginning manifestation. It's using your knowledge to turn a profit Yet there's still more to learn. You might be rethinking your efforts to see if they match up with your long-term goals. There's assistance and contribution and teamwork. There's guidance and planning and mentors. Take critics as teachers that are really helping you. You know, criticism helps you grow. Now priorities are being established and plans are being put into action and you have initial successes. Integrity and ethics you bring as well as vision and skill and spiritual values. This is being cooperative and inspired by a team effort. Could be discussing efforts and plans. This is uh, using high standards and asking for opinions. You may have some latent talents yet unrecognized. So delve deeply and find the treasure and reveal new ways and find yourself and come out into the open because you bring light into the darkness. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. It's your attitude. The Page of Pentacles, Taurus. This is Earth energy. Could be a new communication or a younger person. Someone that's not established yet. This represents interest and fascination and introspection could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, or you, Taurus. This could be a communication of stability, an offer. This person's attitude suggests he desires money. They're goal-oriented. This is good news. It's worldly ambitions or a message about them. This could also be a student. 
They have respect for learning. And they move slowly. They're absorbed. It's a slower energy. It takes a little longer. It's someone practical and cautious. This could be a new job or a new project or a new investment or new studies. This is someone that's youthful and dependable and practical and they're willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. They're a loyal friend and they give good advice, yet they seem solemn and scholarly. He is willing to work hard to learn about what interests them so very much. Pages can be children or the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. This is love of material things and a good card to start a new business. It's an opportunity to make money starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. It's a trigger point, an unexpected new start, and it's being productive. You might even find something. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Knight of Swords, Taurus, this is air energy, represents movement and action. It could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. It could be a message or travel, or the coming or going of a matter. As an air energy person, they're headstrong and impatient. It's a person who is overly aggressive or argumentative. This is swift action and speed. Or it could be a message of some kind of mental conflict or differences of opinion. So use diplomacy and honesty, because too much eagerness can create problems and drama. This is a communication rushing in, someone impatient. They could be a debater, or an explorer, a revolutionary. Sometimes they create drama. This person is sharp-minded and direct and idealistic. He's a great problem solver and debater, and he's rational and not driven by feelings. He is headstrong and impatient, and his communication is very direct and can be cutting or piercing. And he feels very passionately about his own ideas and will spare no one's feelings in getting his point across. Although being very intelligent, he often jumps to conclusions, and they can be quite opinionated. Or you may be experiencing great quantities of communication, a lot of them, back and forth. This is also sudden changes upon you which can disrupt your normal habits and routines. You might be searching to reach a goal. <clears throat> your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The two of wands, Taurus. This is fire energy and represents asp aspiration. You've started something and now you're awaiting results. Has to do with business success or something you're trying to create and your future possibilities. There's creative tension and longing and a new outlook. There may be opposing forces taking place within you or another person. It's enterprise, energy, and growth. This person stands on castle walls and two wands are placed firmly, symbolizing what has already been achieved. And the globe stands for future possibilities. You have the world in your hands, and you're deciding the next move. This is potential yet unfulfilled. High ideals and aims. Planning. It could be a desire for travel and a new outlook. And change is in the air. A feeling of restlessness. And you can have success using strength and vision and use initiative. These are impulses that complement each other or work against each other. So wait for your decision to mature and then act. Large tasks can present you with a challenge and something new is developing in your life that only you can find out about it. And it is possible to achieve great ends, but success depends on your will and your drive to stay the course. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. Taurus, you got answering the call. The time is now. Taurus, you've been called. The sacred journey always starts with a call. You might feel ready or you might feel uncertain and not willing. But when you receive the call, you must respond. If you've been waiting for your life to turn out, the waiting is over. Your true and authentic life is happening. If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. 
Right now you've been called and a gateway is opening for communication from the spirit realms. The energy of courage surrounds you. You may not know what the future brings, but you do know that now is the time to act and go forward. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that spirit is trying to get your attention. Right now your spirit helpers are telling you that this is your time. Listen with your heart. Your time is now. Do it now. Throw your shoulders back, take a deep breath and plunge forward. The waiting is over. No matter what concerns or hesitations you may have, in the deepest sense, you are ready. Believe. Trust. Follow the signs and there will be many, and miracles will abound. Here's your take note moment. Imagine writing an email of what you want to the universe. When you are happy that your email is very clear, you hit send and you know your request has gone into the others. You also know that the server of the universe is an automatic system and it doesn't question email requests. Its job is to simply fulfill every request. If you begin to worry and stress that you haven't got what you wanted, then you have just sent another email to the universe to stop your order. And then you wonder why you haven't received what you asked for. Once you ask, know that the server of the universe is an automatic, infallible system that never fails, and expect to receive your request. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.